All right, on a scale of one to 100, one being super, super smart and 100 being the stupidest thing ever, where do you think we fall for choosing to go to Costco on the Saturday before Father's Day? A thousand. Step one, that one of the rules that we have is, is what you're doing it right now. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna explain it? Never go to Costco on an empty stomach. Rule number one. Rule number one. Yep. All right. Well, you finish that snack. I'll go get one for me and then we'll be off. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, Dylan and I are braving Costco and I'm gonna take you along with me. This will be the first time I am recording in like a public environment. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, so maybe I'll just make Dylan record the whole time. Just kidding. So you saw the first rule um, that we have with Costco is we always try to have a snack beforehand so we don't go in hangry and confused and buying like a bunch of different things. So um, I'm gonna grab a snack real quick before we go. And then the other rule I have is I always try to dress a little warmer when we go to Costco. It's June right now, but we're having June gloom. California people will get what I'm talking about. Apparently this is a new term for Oregonians I've been finding out, but June gloom is basically time of the year where it gets kind of gloomy in summer before it gets hot. And so um, it's been a little gloomy out and kind of rainy um, here. So um, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt anyway, but I would recommend dressing warm because that, it seems like it's always cold in Costco and especially in like the cold sections, which is like, I feel like the majority of where we shop when we're at Costco, it gets cold. So tip number two, dress a little warm. We also have to make sure the corks are walked before Costco. All right, so heading to Costco, what do you love the most about Costco or going to Costco? Probably the food. Like, can you be a little more specific what you mean by that? The chicken bakes. Uh, like yeah. eating them, like the food court chicken bakes? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a nice prize once you're done. Yeah, yeah. What do you like the least about Costco? All the people. Mm. Like having to navigate your cart around when it's busy. Yeah. And then you run into people and it's no good. Yeah. I know where our first stop is going to be for you. Where? Suckers you in every time. What are you talking about? <laughs> Electronics. You can never pass it up. <laughs> So while Dylan is looking at the electronics, I do have to say we've had two TVs in our marriage and we've been married six years and we've gotten both of them from Costco. It always seems like it's a good deal here. So if you're in the market for a new TV, Costco might be the place for you. All right, so far looking good. We got the essentials, I think. We got yep. some pans because <laughs> we needed more. Uh, Caesar salad, mushrooms, uh, beer, and bananas. I think we're good to go, right? Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay, cool. We get all of our pet food art for the dogs and the cats. Um, here. <laughs> so, yeah, it always seems like a good deal here. And it's fun because it's pink. That's the reason we get that one, right? Yep, the only reason. What do you feel? feel good. I feel like actually we're doing this pretty quick and it doesn't seem to be as crowded as I was anticipating. Like the, the front definitely, but yeah. it's kind of nice to have a little breather where it's a little quieter for a minute. So we're going to go get frozen pizzas, coffee, and a few other things. And then I think we're done. All right. Let's do it. All right. We made it. Well, we're in line. Yeah. I feel like we, I should have timed us. I feel like that was pretty quick. You can always look back on your recording mm. timestamps. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah it's, it is pretty busy. Yeah. Wouldn't want to do it again. Didn't enjoy it necessarily, but here we are. All 
All right, our our reward now. Well, Dylan's reward. I'm I'm good, but I also had more samples than he did, so he's getting his hot dog. You never get a hot dog. Why did you? That's usually what I always get. Does this sound good? Yeah. He's usually Changing a chicken chicken bake guy. Mm -hmm. Switching it up, huh? Yep. How is it? Pretty good. Not bad for a dollar fifty. I know. So. We're gonna hang out here for a minute and then we'll be on our way. Successful Costco trip. Oh yeah. Man, this is always the best part, walking out. Do you feel just like on top of the world right now? Yeah, <laughs> I really do. So overall, I feel like that was a pretty good Costco run. We got a good parking spot, that, that's always good. We got gas, I cannot, it's five it was 525 a gallon hopefully this will be the highest gas ever is so let's document it now and i and we didn't see anybody we knew which sounds kind of mean but when you're kind of like in the zone and you just want to get in and get out you know what i mean yeah that was nice you didn't see anybody you knew right no no i did and i avoided them oh did you no, just <laughs> no. kidding. it's hard when you like i feel bad sometimes because sometimes it's like you when you see somebody that you see on a regular basis, or at least this is how I feel, it's like you want to go up and say hi to them and, oh, how's it going? It's good to see you. But, and then when you yeah, see yeah. people, oh my gosh, I don't, look at that. Oh, I don't think, it, I don't think I got it at all. It was really long for the gas line. I'm glad we went when we did. Gas line was out on the road. Sheesh. Yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, and then it's like you have people that, you may be new in high school, but like you don't really feel the need to talk to. And that, that feels fine too. But then it's like the people that are kind of in between that, where it's like, you don't know if you say hi or if you keep going. I don't like having to make that decision. Yeah, you let them initiate if they want to. Yeah. Good talk. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna just go home. I'll um, kind of do a rundown um of what we got and we did pretty good too even with the cost i feel like we didn't yeah. spend too much and um sometimes i leave going oh my goodness we're gonna have to take out a second mortgage on our house but not this time it was pretty good yeah. so we'll go ahead and do a video of all the fun stuff we got all right we made it back in one piece i have our um stuff laid out we kind of put some stuff away like we got eggs and the dog food and kind of stuff like that that we've already put away but i'll show you the rest right here so we got some bananas for dylan and to make more banana bread um some mushrooms i love their mushrooms here they're always so good then i got um these fully cooked beef patties we love these it's just nice like to have on hand they're frozen but fully cooked so you just heat them up in the microwave and then you eat them up and um they're really really good and then this is our favorite ham um i bought two of them and i'm gonna just freeze a whole package of one and then um just keep the rest in the fridge but since we do ham and eggs so much um this is like our favorite we really like it in for dylan for sandwiches and stuff we got some whipped cream. Um, I usually have some whipped cream on top of my sugar-free um, pudding. And I didn't realize this because I've never been like a huge whipped cream person. But the calories, like, it's like one gram of sugar. And the calories are pretty good, I guess, because like mainly it's air. <laughs> but um, that's been like a very nice treat to have. And then Dylan loves these bark thins, so we got some more of those. Um, we got a Caesar salad and chicken tonight for dinner. Um, and then we're gonna do, um, or I don't know why I said that. We also got these cauliflower crust pizzas and I love them. It's like the Supreme pizzas from Costco, but they're the cauliflower crust, so good. And then this is Dylan's espresso that he uses for his coffee. It looks, looks a little sad, it's like floppy. <laughs> Um, and then what I'm most excited about probably are these new pans. I'm so excited. We've had the same pans, um, since we've been married and they're just kind of starting to 
not do well. They've been kind of going downhill for a while where it's like they, everything sticks to them. And so I'm super stoked to try these. We were going to buy like a whole brand new set, um, but we really don't need a whole set. It's mainly just new pans. So they had this and it was a lot more affordable than like a whole new set of pots and pans. And so um, really excited to try that out. Well, thank you for coming with us today at Costco. I hope you had a fun time watching us um, run around like maniacs the Saturday before uh, Father's Day. <laughs> um, it actually wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse. It wasn't awful, but um, hopefully maybe you got some ideas and things you want to try at Costco next. So thanks for watching. Be well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.